How did you react to the news that Clay Helton was keeping his job, Scott? I probably felt a little sick, to be honest, when I heard the news. <laughs> How surprising was this? It was coming, you know, for a few days. But if you'd have told me a month ago he was coming back, it would have been surprising. I mean, they've got a new president, a new athletic director. It looks like they're going to make change. And it's status quo. And everything's the same now. And it's almost like Lynn Swan is still the athletic director. And you know, you don't see any difference. So I thought, uh, you know, they were going to clean house, but apparently they're not. How much was, uh, and I'm trying to figure this out of who was available, because usually if you make a coaching change, it's because you think you're going to get somebody or you know you're going to get somebody. I don't know if money was a factor and or was the person they wanted or persons they wanted not going to be available. Well, I've heard that they did talk to Bob Stoops, and I heard uh, last night that there were some issues with how much money they were going to pay his coaching staff if he were to come. And I'm sure they put out some feelers to Urban Meyer, um, especially with you know Reggie Bush and Matt Leinart sitting next to him every Saturday, and those guys are lobbying him to take the USC job. So. You know, I don't know how uh, committed they were to hiring a new coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice and easy to, you know, save the millions of dollars on a buyout. But now they're in the situation where they're going to lose millions of dollars in ticket revenue and donations because they've offended the fan base like I've never seen it in the 20-plus years I've been covering USC. Is Clay Hilton good? He's good at uh, sucking up to his bosses, the president and the athletic director, because he gave them game balls after the UCLA game instead of Keaton Slovis, who <laughs> passed a school record 500 yards. Um, I don't know how he's good. I mean, Mike Bone was defending him yesterday, but they've been one of the most penalized teams in the nation the last three years. So yeah. his job this year was to clean up penalties. So I don't know how good he can be. But also, you had this time frame, as you point out in your column, there's like four days where uh, that elapsed before they said, and we're bringing back Clay Helton. So something was happening in those four days. Do we know what happened in those four days? Uh, they gave really vague answers about that, but uh, my understanding was that they were talking to Bob Stoops, and they probably were talking to some other people, too, and... I just don't understand the time frame. I mean, you, did they give themselves three or four days to hire a new coach? They've had, you know, a long time to know this was coming. So the deadline seemed kind of weird to me. They should have been talking to someone the last couple of weeks. Um, but it, it just seemed like they weren't ready to act. And, and I don't know why. And they're not being very honest. Mike Bone said last night that he didn't even talk to anybody else. And that's, Definitely mm. not not the case, because otherwise they would have announced Sunday morning that Clay Helton's coming back. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.